hi lovely people welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial i'll be learning how to draft out a rope pattern this video will be divided into two the pattern drafting and the sewing tutorial so this particular video will be the pattern drafting while the next video after this will be the sewing tutorial so with this pattern we'll be drafting out today i was able to make this beautiful rope you see here so if this is something you like to learn please keep on watching so guys like i said We'll be drafting out this with our pattern paper. So I'll be making use of this marker, my scissors, my ruler, and my curve rule. Also, I'll be making use of my tape, my measuring tape. So I'll be writing down the measurements that we'll be needing for this tutorial. The first measurement we'll be needing is our shoulder measurement. And our shoulder measurement is 16 inches. Then the bust measurement is 35 inches. The waist measurement is 30 inches the hip measurement is 39 inches and the full length for this rope is 34 inches so guys after this we go ahead to divide our shoulder measurement by two shoulder measurement is 16 divided by two that is eight inches now we go ahead to add extra two inches remember this is a rope it's not fitted it's not always fitted so go ahead and add extra two inches I have a total of 10 inches. Now, the bust measurement is 35 inches divided by 4. That will give us 8.75. 8.75. Then the waist measurement is 30 inches divided by 4. That will give us 7.5. And the hip measurement is 39 inches divided by 4. That will give us 9.75. Now, making use of size 10 i'm using size 10 to make this rope now the full length the rope length is 34 inches i'll be adding extra three inches for folding the actual length the actual full length of our rope is 34 inches but i'll be adding extra three inches for folding i hope you understand so i'm going to have to add one inch two inches it all depends on how you want it and take note like i said i'm making use of size at the end of this tutorial i'll be leaving the size charts for making a rope so guys we are done with the calculations we are done taking our measurements so i'll go ahead to drop this aside then we'll start drafting out on the pattern paper i hope you understand i'll be keeping this aside then we'll start drafting out on the pattern paper so guys, to get started, we'll go ahead and draw a line at the top that will serve as the starting point and also as the shoulder line. So guys, once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and input my full length. Now remember I said the actual full length of this rope is 34 inches. Now I'll be adding an extra 3 inches for folding. At this point, my pattern paper was not long enough. It was not up to 37. It was only 34 inches. So I'll be drafting this pattern with 34 inches. Then while transferring to my main fabric, I'll be adding extra 3 inches. I'm sorry my camera was not able to capture this part of the video. I'm so sorry about that. But I maxed out 34 inches. My pattern paper was not long enough. It was not up to 37 inches, so I marked out the actual 34 inches. But I will add my extra 3 inches when transferring this to my main fabric. From the shoulder line, I'll be coming down by 10 inches for my bust line. From the shoulder line, come down by 10 inches for the bust line. Go ahead and rule a line across there. This is the bust line. Also from the shoulder line, come down by 16 inches for the waist line. So this is optional this is not needed it's optional you can can skip this part you can skip this waistline but because of this tutorial i decided to draw it out so this is our waistline i'll go ahead to label the lines this is our shoulder line the bust line and of course this is the waist line on the shoulder line i'll go ahead to input my shoulder measurement now remember our shoulder measurement is 10 inches that is 8 inches plus 2 inches so i'll go ahead and mark that on the shoulder line from that point i'll come down by one inch for the shoulder slope now to create our neckline 
from the center front i'll be coming in by three inches and i also come down by 1.5 inches three inches is for the neck width why 1.5 inch is for the neck depth and i forgot to set this this is the back pattern we are drafting out the back pattern first then we'll be making use of this back pattern as a template to draft out the front pattern i'm so sorry i didn't say this at the beginning of the video so from this point i draw out my shoulder line so from this bust line i came up by one inch I will draw a line across from your bust line go up by one inch draw a line across that will serve as the chest line hope you understand from the bust line come up by one inch and this will serve as the chest line so guys from the shoulder slope we're drawing a line a straight line down to the chest line this way i hope you see what i just did i'm trying to get the armhole at this point we're trying to create the armhole and to do that i'll go ahead and input my boss circumference on my boss line and remember our boss divided by four will give us eight points seven five so i'll go ahead and mark that on my boss line go ahead and mark your boss measurements on your boss line so guys i've done that i've marked my boss measurements on my boss line i'll go ahead and add extra 1.5 inches for allowance mark your boss measurement and add extra 1.5 inches for allowance as you can see this is what we have our boss measurement plus extra 1.5 inches for allowance so from this line i'll go ahead to measure it out to find out the midpoint so the midpoint is four this line is eight inches in length so from that point i'll go in by half an inch i'll go in from the midpoint i'll go in by half an inch so it's my curve rule i'll go ahead to place it this way i'm trying to create an armhole so i'll go ahead and place it this way to create our armhole so guys this is all this is the armhole for this rope the next thing i'll be doing now is to impute my waist measurement already we have marked out the bust measurement and to impute the waist measurement we simply go to the bust line measure out what we have there and subtract one inch now at this point i have 11 inches on my bust line so i'll go ahead and subtract one inch and that will give me 10 inches so i'll be marking that on the waist line this is a rope is not actually fitted so i'll go ahead and subtract one inch from whatever i have on my bust line and i'll mark that on my waistline so coming down to the hemline i'll be dividing my hip measurement by four and i'll add extra 1.5 inches to it i hope you understand divide your hip measurement by four and add extra 1.5 inches to it then you mark that on the hemline so i'll go ahead to connect this point I'm so sorry my camera didn't capture the hemline properly. I'm so sorry about that. So this is just me connecting the points from the hemline to the waistline up to the bust line. And this is all for drafting of the back pattern of this rope. This is all for the back pattern drafting. So easy, so simple. Like I said, this is a DIY. Hope you understand so next i'll be cutting this out like i said earlier i'll be using this back to draft out the front this back will serve as a template to draft out the front so i'll go ahead and cut this out so guys this is the back pattern this is the back pattern like i said i'll be making use of this back pattern as a template this is a template i'll be making use of it to cut out the front pattern so now remember to add extra three inches for folding when transferring this to your fabric i wasn't able to do that because my pattern paper was not long enough so i only cut out 34 inches so this back pattern will be cut on fold this back pattern will be cut on four. So I'll go ahead to place this on a new pattern paper to draft at the front. So guys, I went ahead to place the back on a new pattern paper to draft at the front. But if I did that, I, was, I went ahead to draw out three inches line. I hope you understand the center front. I 
added extra three inches that will serve as the lapel for the front i hope you understand so go ahead and place the center back on that line on that line next thing i will do is to transfer these vertical lines from the back panel from the back pattern sorry to the front pattern because we'll be needing it i actually transferred only the bust line and the waistline so go ahead and mark that transfer it like extend it to the front pattern so as once you are done transferring the lines the next thing i will do is come down from my bust line by one inch from your bust line go ahead and mark down one inch we are doing this on the front pattern i hope you understand so go ahead and mark one inch just go ahead and rule a line once that is done come down from your bust line by one inch i hope you understand so i'll be cutting this out i'll be cutting this side i'll be cutting it out you can go ahead and use your seal tape or your pins to hold the front and the back together so it won't move so i'll be cut i'll be tracing it this way and i will i will cut it out exactly this way after that we will work on the front once we are done cutting we'll go ahead and remove the back from the front then we'll continue with the front i hope you understand so guys like i said i'm gonna head to trace out the back onto the front so remember this is the back and this is the front the front is wider than the back with three inches that three inches will serve as a lapel that is on the front i hope you understand so we are done with the back for now we'll go ahead and keep it aside and continue working on the front pattern so i'll just go ahead and extend this nice this is optional it's not actually needed but i decided to go ahead and extend it because of this tutorial so once i'm done extending the lines i'll go ahead and label on it the waistline and of course the bust line so guys, the next thing i'll be doing now is to create my neckline for the front the neckline for the front and to do that i'll go ahead and uh, and draw a line from my neck width down to about one inch below my my waist line i hope you understand draw a line from your neck width down to about one inch be below the waistline now this one inch we came down from the bust line which will just serve as a guideline it will just serve as a guideline at this point you can decide to skip it i hope you understand but just draw it it will just serve as a guideline so slant your line from neck width down to one inch below your waistline the way i just did it now so go ahead and do the same thing i just did now hope you understand so with this we have created our neckline for the front the next thing i will do is to cut out about half inch from the hemline up to the waistline i hope you understand just go ahead and trim off about half inch or you can decide to leave it or just go ahead and trim off about half inch so this is all for for the front this is all for the front now remember this front we'll be having two pieces for this front why the back will be cut on fold i hope you understand the back will be cut on fold and we're having two pieces for the front now, this is the back and the front you can see the front is bigger than the back the front is wider than the back because we'll be having something like a lapel at the front that's why the front is wider than the back so guys next thing is to cut out the sleeve i'm sorry i didn't add that to my calculation i'll be cutting out the sleeve i did not include the sleeve on the initial calculations i'm so sorry about that so the sleeve length for this rope is 13 inches that's how long i want it to be 13 inches but i'll, add, I'll be adding extra three inches for folding like we did for the rope we added extra three inches for folding also do the same for the sleeve and for the round sleeve you can go ahead and do whatever you want this is a free dress so i'll be deciding this round sleeve later on 
I'll be using this pattern paper to draft out the sleeve. Now remember I said the sleeve length is 13 inches. From the top, I'll be going down by 13 inches for the sleeve length. I hope you understand. Then I will be adding extra 3 inches for the folding. So I'll be having a top of 16 inches. I hope you understand this. I'll be having a total of 16 inches. So this is a free dress. I'll <laughs> you don't actually need a very detailed sleeve pattern for this so just go ahead and play around with it i hope you understand just go ahead and play around with it from the center i came out by four inches and i marked four inches just go ahead and play around with it you don't need to have a perfect sleeve so at this point i'll go ahead and measure my round arm hole on the dress so go ahead and measure out the round armhole on the dress. Remember the pattern. So once I'm done measuring, I have about eight and a half inches. That's what I have on the dress. So I'll go ahead and mark that also on the sleeve. I hope you understand. I'll be marking that also on the sleeve, my eight and a half inches. So from this point, I'll just go ahead and slant it. Like I said, I didn't have a particular round sleeve measurement. So I just go ahead and slant it this way. You can decide to leave it straight. I decided to just slant it a little. So I go ahead and measure what I have. I have eight inches. So I have eight inches. That means my round sleeve is 16 inches. And I'll add half inch to that eight inches I have. And I'll mark that at the lower line. Add extra half inch to whatever you have on the upper line and mark that on the lower line. I hope you understand. So my my um hand sleeve is 16 inches. It was at this point that I actually decided my round sleeve measurements. So you can decide to make yours 18 inches, 17. It all depends on what you want. This is a free dress. This is a free dress. You can decide what you want. So this is it. This is all for the sleeve. I'll go ahead and fold it this way. Hope you see. And remember this pattern is a single pattern this is a single pattern we'll be drafting this sorry we'll be transferring this onto the fabric on fold and we having two pieces of this sleeve two pieces at this area we'll be adding extra one inch for sewing allowance that is when transferring this to your fabric we'll be adding extra one inch for sewing allowance then we'll be having two pieces of this unfold this is all for the pattern drafting guys this is the sleeve this is all for the pattern draft this is the sleeve like i said we're having two pieces of it unfold two pieces unfold of this sleeve we'll be adding one inch sewing allowance at the side so as this is all i'll go ahead to fold this once you fold it and you have little excess you can go ahead and trim it off once you fold it and you have little SS, you can go ahead and trim it off. So guys, this is all for the pattern drafting. Remember I said we're having two pieces for the front, two pieces for the front. Then the back will be on fold. The back will be on fold. And the sleeve will, will be having two pieces on fold. I hope you understand. So guys, this is all for the pattern drafting. With this pattern, I was able to make this beautiful rope you see here. In my next tutorial, I'll be sharing with us how to sew it. And if this is something you like to learn, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. See you guys in my next video.